following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope that you're having a great day, and I'm excited to have you joining us as we really look at money. We're going to lean in and really look at our relationship with money on a practical level and a profound level, and in particular, how we can really tap into those funds and the mindset we need with them to bring our mission forward, to bring forward in life those things that we are called to bring forward. And and this is whether you are in business or if you have funds or you are in your day-to-day life dealing with money, which we do, how can we really do that in a powerful way that you get forward movement in the areas that are most important to you? And that's really my heart in this. When we look at money for your mission, I want you to really be able to tap into funds and resources and mindsets that are going to empower you around money. And I find frequently when the word money comes up, and I'm being very direct in saying that, sometimes we like to say other words, abundance and prosperity or wealth. We shy away from the word money. And it can have this discomfort for us. And my heart today, my goal today is to have us lean in a little bit more to money directly. Having an opportunity to explore where we are in our relationship with money and where do we want that to go where you're giving, you're getting information and tools to support you. So let's take a deep breath together. I want to applaud you for leaning in, carving out time for you today to say yes to exploring your conversation with money and really looking into, in particular, how can we tap into those money and resources that can support our mission? I was in the financial industry for almost 15 years. And I worked with companies, school districts, individuals, and I saw that where people really struggled was being direct and connected with money. There were a lot of myths out there, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of feelings that would come up around money. And so I want to tell you all of you a truth today. It's a courageous act to lean into something that makes you a little uncomfortable and that you're willing to lean and spend some time today with you us and your relationship with money so that you can become empowered. That is a courageous act. It's due honor and respect. And I know my my guest feels the same as we lift you up and strive to empower you in this. But please know just showing up today on this show and leaning in and listening is an act that will lead to many things in your life because it takes leaning in. It takes saying yes. It takes exploring where you are now with money and where you want to be and then having the tools and the plans to get there. And that's what we're going to be sharing with you today. So I hope you're excited. I want you to know we are holding you in respect and love as we create this sacred space to really talk about money for your mission so that you can go forth in the world without, if only I had, if only there was a support, really being able to say, now that I have this, now that I'm tapping into this, this is what I'm going to create and step forward. That's what I want you to have in your life. So let's take a deep breath together again. <sighs> You're absolutely safe. 
in this space with us today. And I'm going to invite those of you who are driving to please stay safe, alert, eyes open, just kind of tune in inside that you're leaning in a little bit more, open your ears to hear our conversation. Those of you who are able to, I invite you to close your eyes, have both feet on the ground, feel that chair supporting you, taking a deep breath, eyes closed, put one hand on your heart. One hand on the top of your head, in a sense, bringing all of you in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And I invite you to take these deep, what I call belly breaths, where you're actually breathing through your mouth deeply into your belly where it's expanding, and then out through, I'm sorry, breathe in through your nose. There we go. And out through your mouth, almost like you're blowing out a straw. Do that a couple times. And this actually calms down your nervous system, lowers your cortisol, because sometimes that can get bumped up when we're starting to talk around money. So I invite you to bring this tool into your life, this deep breathing. And in this safe space, full of oxygen and safety, I'd love you to explore the question, what's important about money to you. And you should be able to dig in and say, if it is or isn't, you're going to have a quick response. It is important. It's not important. If it's not, then what is? And why? I found when I was in the financial industry When I could stop and ask this question and start there, I could get on the same page as to what was important to my clients, and we could build the plan that way. So I want you to really look at what's important about money to you and why. And if it isn't, then what is and why? And looking at it from this perspective, what is it that you need today to support you around money? Is it information? Is it encouragement? Is it wisdom? What is it that you need to support what's important to you and particularly around money? What is it that you need today? Capture that information. (sighs) Wonderful. Go ahead and come back into the room. Open up your eyes. And capture that information. Really write down what it is that is important to you. And what is it that you need today? I want you on the lookout for it. When you know what it is that you need, it's a lot easier to recognize it when it's coming, to hear it. And not let those opportunities pass you by because you're on the lookout, actively looking for what it is that you need. That puts you in a place of empowerment and leadership. You're leading where you want to go with it, what you're looking for, what you need versus hoping that it comes to you someday, somehow. I want to put you in a proactive role in your life to empower you. Wonderful. One more deep breath. Great. So now what I would love to take a couple moments with is, is Teresa, you are my guest today. I'd love for you to share anything that was placed on your heart as we took that moment and paused. What a beautiful introduction. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. What I was thinking about was that so many of the, your listeners who are heart-centric entrepreneurs need to think of money as flow, as another form of energy that goes from one person to another, an exchange of value, uh, and a symbol for abundance and for that value that is being exchanged between people. 
I love that. What a beautiful image that it's this energy of flow of exchange of value from one to another. And I just what struck me as, as you were sharing that, Teresa, is that sometimes it can get stuck on one side or the other. Sometimes mm. we are um, holding so tightly that we're stopping the flow. Other times we're making it so difficult for the flow to come to us that it, it wants to go and eat, it flows, it wants to go an easier path that we can <laughs> really, um, and we put these barriers and, and disconnect and almost push it away instead of really leaning into the flow. So I love that um, mindset or perspective of really looking at how can we keep that movement, that flow of energy in exchange of value um, with money and in, in our relationships and in the business and the things that we're called to do. Really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And so I did, many, did, so many mm-hmm. times. Go ahead, please. Oh, no, you're fine. Go for it. You're, you're good. Okay. Well, so, you know, so many times I think of it as even, you know, money really, at least to my mind, goes where it's respected and nurtured and allowed its own freedom. And so I think of it as rather than going out there and trying to capture it and and hold it close and control it, we should think of it as, okay, I'm going, I'm giving value to those around me. They are compensating me in the form of money. And then I am in turn, whether it is giving to others for value that they give me or many pe- thinking about investments as sending your money out there to do good in the world and bring back a return to you. So there's always that circle and that fluidity r- rather than put it in the mattress or bury it in the backyard and forget about it. Exactly. Oh, I think this is really an important subject that we're looking at how we're thinking about it. Because one of the things I learned as a financial advisor for many, many years is that I could give people brilliant plans and this is how it worked. I could, money spoke to me. I could just see how it would lay out and and work. Mm But people wouldn't do it. And it had nothing to do with the planning. It had nothing to do with the information. It had to do with this softer side, this view that we had of money and the relationship or lack of relationship that we had with it. And I found this with people that had very little that were just starting out or restarting all the way up to multimillionaires that they would not have the movement or the shift they wanted that they came to me for <laughs> until exactly. we really looked at this softer side, this this mindset and relationship. And listeners, today I've dedicated the whole show to this. And normally I do have two guests per show, but this subject I feel is so important and is something that I feel is holding people back in so many ways, disempowering them, that I wanted to have a day a time that we really talked about it on a practical level, on a profound level to support and empower you on your journey. Uh, We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, I invite you to sit in the sacred space and just kind of look at what's coming up around money. Is it excitement? Is it a discomfort? Is it anticipation? Is it I'm going to build this next big thing? Kind of look at where you're at, not with judgment, but just awareness. So we can look at where we're at and think about where you want to go. And when you come back, we'll start talking about how to do that. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. 
Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim T. Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for Success. Age with Attitude TV is for the woman who does not see her future as a nice little old lady, but rather she sees herself living a bold, juicy, kick-ass second half. Now, if this is the life you want for your second 50, then Age with Attitude TV is for you. You'll find stories to inspire you, plus money and metabolism tips that really work. Check it all out at agewithattitude.tv. Presented by Jan Rose Distel. Find us on voiceamerica.tv. And remember, it's never too late to create a life you love. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had an opportunity during those two minutes to really lean into where you are in your relationship with money, where you want it to be, and just taking a, a test, kind of checking in, and seeing where there might be a little bit of tightness. That's sometimes um, a way that you can tell is if there's some tightness when you think about it in your body or a contraction. Um, sometimes that will happen in our body before we register and like, oh, I have a discomfort around that. Um, so it's a good way to tap into your body like we did in the beginning, mind, body, soul, and spirit, to feel where there's a little bit of tightness. And it's not with judgment, it's not with criticism, but it's it's really with awareness. And the more awareness we have around our relationship with money, the more empowered we can become. Because if we don't know where we're at, it's really hard to move in a direction that makes sense. So it starts with really checking in with where we're at. Oh, today it's going to be conversational as we go through the information. We have great content that we've built for the show, but I'm also going to invite my guest, Teresa, who I'll introduce to you in a moment, um, as well as myself, to be open to where we're being led in this conversation because it really is to serve you. And this is a subject I feel that there can be a lot of misunderstandings and myths out there. And Teresa and I are really going to speak truth. We have a lot of experience in our different paths in the financial world around money. And we want to empower you in our conversation today. So that's our heart in this. Let me share a little bit about Teresa. You heard a bit of her heart um, in our opening segment, but I want you to know a little bit of her background. She's the creator of the Family Wealth Collective, which is really helping um, 
middle market businesses and owners become empowered around money, around resources, so they can move forward powerfully in the world. She has a background in investment banking, investment banking house, and an international public accounting firm, as well as has started her own firm. She is passionate, and you're going to hear this throughout the show, about promoting financial confidence and self-sufficiency around and with money. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Teresa Cherry to the show. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you so much. I'm not often called amazing. I love it. Thank you. Amazing again then. (laughs) Oh, beautiful. I'm glad to have you, and I'd love if you would take a moment to share with our listeners a little bit of your why, why this work of empowering people around money and and businesses is personally so important to you. Well, if there was one bone of contention, one issue that arose in my family throughout my childhood, it it always revolved around money. Money was, and um, not always in a good way. I've come to realize that, of course, many of us, as we are growing up, you know, our parents are also in the consumption and the um, the part of their lives where there never seems to be enough money around. Um, I was I throughout my childhood either lived in the same building next door to or across the street from my maternal grandparents. And um, there was always this um, attitude by my mother, pri- primarily, because um, it was something of, in those days, a matriarchal society, um, we, that, you know, it, she was really um, dependent upon and in many ways um, subservient to my grandmother. Uh, you know, it's wonderful to have... a two strong women in a family. It was wonderful for my sister and myself growing up. But sometimes, um, you know, it's hard to have two queens uh, in the same Mm -hmm. environment. So, uh, but it was always um, a certain certain amount of angst about the money. Um, Always, you know, on my my parents' side, um, a little bit short of money. And uh, my grandmother was a very strong lady, and uh, she used money in a lot of different ways, uh, many times as a tool and sometimes as a weapon, mm-hmm. uh, and so, and sometimes as a cage in the way my mother thought about things. So uh, for me, um, it always, money has represented freedom. It represented the amount, the, um, the control that one can have over one's life if you are self-sufficient and confident in your ability to make money. I I love that. You know, Teresa, when I used to ask the question about people, what was important about money to them, one of the number one responses I would get is freedom. And there are all different types of reasons why. Um, But that I found was, was very consistent as one of the common responses I would get about what was important was freedom. And what I would then ask is, how they defined freedom, because I found that's where it would be a little bit different. Um, and for you, it sounded like it's it's really this being able to do what you want and build what you want kind of opportunity with money. And that, to me, I think is really powerful. And I want to just encourage all of our listeners to explore, you know, why you feel what you feel about money and what is important. How would you want it to be? And if freedom is what it brings you, really being clear on what it is you're wanting to be free to create in your life and and build. Because I suspect it's not freedom for freedom's sake. I suspect it's something that you're wanting to um, have control over or be able to build and create. And I believe a lot of us... Um, shy away from really taking an ownership place with with our money and you work hard or you've been given 
these resources, money that you can do some powerful things with. And I want to invite all of you to be purposeful with it, to be proactive, to be thoughtful, to really look at what you have and where you want to go and what you want to build and um, tapping into experts like Teresa that um, really tied into freedom and energy so that you can build what it is you're called to build. Um, so, Teresa, thank you for sharing a little bit of your story and and your why. I really appreciate that because I don't know that we often get to feel the heart of a financial professional. So I very much appreciate that. Well, thank you. Um, yes, that uh, I think many, many people think of money as being scarce rather than opening themselves up to comparing money to all the good things in the universe. I mean, it's out there. There's there's tremendous amounts of it available. Um, and just in exchange for the value and the purpose that each individual brings to the universe, brings to their, um, their environment and their relationships, um, you should never think of money as being scarce. It's... Because that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe and you think it has to be that way, that's what you're going to keep seeing. But if you can really develop, um, and, and this is for all of us, you know, that us, if we can really develop the view that there's lots and that it's abundant and we can tap into that, we'll start to be able to see that. So we have to be careful about our mindset and our beliefs and um, that there is enough um, out there. I see this in the entrepreneur world a lot. Sometimes people feel there's a, a competition in a sense, or there's not enough um, clients. And there are billions of people around the world. We cannot serve them all. There are plenty <laughs> that need help and service and support. And it's the same thing with money. Absolutely. You have to watch against that, that scarcity mindset. And uh, Teresa, kind of flipping to the other side here, I know you have this belief that everyone must become or have access to a millionaire. Can you mind sharing a little bit about that? (laughs) Well, here's the thing. Um, You know, so many business consultants and and, um, people out there who are talking about money, um, you know, they make a million dollars seem like that should be the goal. And I understand that your first million is definitely the hardest because you're going up the learning curve and you're, you're acquiring skills around money management and, and uh, money growth. However, to my mind, um, a million is its starting place, particularly for those of us so lucky in the developing or, or the developed world. In the, um, so one way or another, whether it's through the value of your business, your various possessions or whatever, you will be a millionaire. Um, even if you are starting a business, so many times right off the bat, just those wonderful ideas are worth millions of dollars. So um, it's important to have that millionaire mindset and to know that you will um, you will get there and probably much more quickly than you or you're already there and you don't even realize it. I, I love this. So what I'm hearing you say is that um, if we really tap into our knowledge, to our ideas, to the things that we are called to bring to the world, and we start stepping into that direction, we may not even know it yet, but what we are bringing forward, what we're creating is worth millions. And it's kind of just believing that, embracing it, and moving in that direction that what we're building and creating can have that kind of influence and impact, but we've got to, in a sense, own it. Is that some of what you're saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you have so, so much to offer. Um, and truly, there are people in this world who really can only hear your message, can only draw value from what you have to offer. So it's almost selfish not to get out there and, um, how should I say, um, bring your message to the world to really uh, develop, whether it's a product 
or a service to help other people move forward in their lives. I, I love this. I mean, this is this is really tapping into things I passionately believe. So, listeners, you're going to feel that. <laughs> Teresa, I know you know this about me. That Oh, yes. Uh, we all have these gifts and talents and abilities that no one else has. Our journey, our perspective is absolutely needed in the world. And we are doing a disservice. We are holding back when and withholding, in a sense, things that can make a powerful difference in the world when we shy away from sharing or fully commit to bringing it forward. Now, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. It goes so quickly here, the time. But as we do that, listeners, I'm going to invite you to take these next two moments to listen in and really think about, have I really brought forward all that I'm called to bring forward? Is there more that I've been withholding or shying away from? And I want to invite you to um, release any limitations right now, the how stuff, don't worry about that. We can deal with that. We can always develop a plan. But look at what it is that you need. What is it that's going to empower you on your journey? And what is it you're called to bring forward just a little bit more? And we'll talk about some of the how when we come back. So enjoy this break and we'll talk to you in just a moment. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Age with Attitude TV is for the woman who does not see her future as a nice little old lady, but rather she sees herself living a bold, juicy, kick-ass second half. Now, if this is the life you want for your second 50, then Age with Attitude TV is for you. You'll find stories to inspire you, plus money and metabolism tips that really work. Check it all out at agewithattitude.tv. Presented by Jan Rose Distel. Find us on voiceamerica.tv. And remember, it's never too late to create a life you love. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Jim T. Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 105.5 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 105.5 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush Rush Hour Hour for Success. Do you find yourself working tirelessly to keep your business going? Are you finding out that you don't have time for family, friends, any kind of personal life whatsoever? It's time to stop feeling trapped by your business. Tune in to Reclaim Your Freedom with host Shirley Dalton. You'll hear from guests that will help you work on your business instead of constantly in your business and get your life back while the business keeps running and humming. Reclaim Your Freedom airs live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Pacific Time on Voice America Business. Tune in for Suzanne Ross and Lighten Up TV, evolutionary wellness for the body, mind, and spirit. Each episode features Suzanne and her amazing guests, including inspirational authors, speakers, wellness experts, and spiritual guides. This series is focused on achieving total well-being so that you can live well and love life. Visit LightenUpTV.net to find out more. Lighten Up TV is presented by The Awakening Center, a nonprofit for those seeking a higher way of living and being. Don't miss out on living your best life now. Go to LightenUpTV.net today. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening.
listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that opportunity to just kind of sink in and really see where you're at with your relationship with money and with bringing forward what you are called to uniquely bring to the world. And one of the things I'll hear sometimes from people is, you know, I heard this a lot in the financial industry. I hear it a lot in the coaching and speaking industry. Well, so many people are speaking about this or there's a bunch of advisors or they're So many people that are already talking about this, the market's saturated, and how does my voice really make a difference? I'm not saying anything new. And I want to let you know that's a lie. (laughs) People may be talking about a similar subject. They may be talking about money uh, that um, you talk about as well. And they might be talking about products and programs that are similar to yours, but nobody can do it the way you can. Nobody has your journey, your way of putting language together, your way of sharing this message to the world. That is very unique. And if you feel that pull and that call to share something in this area or wisdom or a perspective, that's not a selfish thing within you. That's actually being called forth and you get an opportunity to respond and say yes or no. Are you willing? And it's not even about what all those other people are doing. It's about are you willing to share what you have to share with another Are you willing to share your wisdom, your idea, your information, your um, passion, and sometimes it is your funds with others or not? You get to choose. Are you going to have that exchange of energy? Are you going to share what you're given to share with the world or not? Because nobody can do it the way that you can. You're uniquely made in that way and gifted. And one of the myths I hear out there a lot um, is that, Again, there's not enough. Are there really um, resources out there to support my mission? Does what I do matter? What I'm called to bring forward matter? And Teresa behind the scenes was sharing with me, there is so much money out there waiting for a home, (laughs) waiting for a place to support. So do you mind busting that myth about there's not enough and people aren't wanting to support and really share how and what there is available? Well, let me differentiate first Mm -hmm. between money that you generate as part of your business, as part of your your entrepreneurial function, as Mm -hmm. it were. You know, if you are um, providing information or whatever, if you're selling a subscription to something, or that's one thing. That has to do with the operations of your business. And so much of that is generated by your um, attractiveness, and your willingness to charge what you're worth and secondarily really provide a lot of value to your audience. But on the other side, there are also investors out there looking for wonderful businesses into which to place their monies. There are people out there who want to support a given cause, a given message. It's just a matter of putting your message in the right, um, to the right ears, in the right function. Um, I belong to a group that is a trade organization of capital raised people, mergers and acquisitions advisors, intermediaries, business consultants. And I go to their conferences And all I hear is, we've got all this money. We don't have any place to put it. We can't find good places to invest, good businesses to support. So on the one hand, there's a a lot of urgency to place these monies. And I know that many entrepreneurs are thinking, there isn't any money out there for me or my business. 
So if we could find a way to match them together where right, exactly. the mission-driven individuals could get in front of the right audiences. But I know that there's another piece in this because you and I have had side conversations about this through throughout the time we've known each other uh-huh. about – that we can place people in front of them, right? In front of them, but you have to be prepared to really share what it is that you're creating, what it is that you're bringing forward. So there's that piece as well. So I think it's it's getting those parties together where they get to meet each other. But when you are someone that has this mission, when you have this organization or this cause you're wanting to bring forward, um, you need to be able to present it in a way that the possible investors can see the vision too and and feel a confidence that their dollars are going to go where they want them to go. Is that true? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you really have to hone your message to speak to the, the needs and the um, the objectives of your investor source, um, and in many cases, those those investor sources are representing investors themselves. Um, mm-hmm. Many will accumulate um, a group a, a certain amount of money and form a perhaps a private equity group where they are investing in a number of businesses and. So they are looking for return on their investment. They are looking for people in certain industries that they can help um, collaborate and grow into perhaps a bigger business. So there are, if you, I guess the first thing that everybody has to kind of think about is um, what is your message Mm -hmm. and what kind of return on investment do you expect not only for yourself, but also for those that will support you with money and ideas and mentorship? So just to look at this a different way, because I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're you're sharing with us. This return on investment isn't just that your business is going to grow and expand its reach, but if somebody, in a sense, is giving you funding, giving you dollars, what are they going to get in exchange? And it can be, and I just want to explore this with you, can it be a level of recognition? Can it be an appreciation? It can be those kind of the softer side of things. But then there also needs to be that that dollar return that how are you multiplying or growing their investment that they're entrusting with you? Just like if you take a loan out from a bank or from other source, usually there is um, amount you pay back that's greater than what you took out in exchange for the funds that you received. And it's similar in these types of situations. And they're looking to entrust you with funds because they believe in you and what you're doing, but they're also expecting that to grow <laughs> and return. And you need to show that as they're weighing and considering investing in you what they get in exchange. Is that true? That's very true. Very true. And it really depends upon... you. Know, I think the entrepreneur needs to think about um, where he or she is taking the business and whether and what the purpose of looking for other people's money might be. Um, sometimes it can be a short-term need, and there are, of course, like uh, people who are willing to lend money for a specific shorter period of time. And there's also a lot of very patient money out there money that will um, invest in perhaps uh, an interest in one's business and simply wait for the business to be sold or for the business to be recapitalized in order to get some kind of a return. So it very much depends on what the end objective is. Um, I like to say every entrepreneur should first think about, you know, quo vadis, where are you going and where are you taking this thing? Yep. I love that. So really doing that that planning part and looking at the numbers. And and um, sometimes I hear this mindset out there, Teresa, that they're like, if I just had this, I could get this business up and running. They're thinking about what their need is. They're not taking it that additional step to think about, um, here's what the return would be. Here's what could be created for others that became part of this. Um, so I invite 
everyone to really look at what their real their need is. But if they had that, where would it grow? How could it be create? How could it create um, a sustainable model? How could it create a profitable model that people that help you in a sense get over this hurdle, get started in this way, build this foundation? Um, have it be a wise investment just if you were just like as if you were investing in something or giving something you want to make sure that it's a wise investment so it's really important to look at all of those aspects as you're looking at your need particularly if you're wanting to tap into some of these funds and then I know there are also opportunities in the crowdfunding arena as well so there are these private investors and then there are these crowdfunding types of avenues as well that that people can tap into um, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break so we'll have that as a bit of a cliffhanger we're going to be talking about those things a little <laughs> bit too when we come back. So take a moment to actually lean in and listen to some of our sponsors that have made this show possible. You'll hear that during the commercial break. And these are people that believe empowering women is important work. And I invite you to get to know their name and their brand because they absolutely believe in you. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Your favorite Voice America Talk Radio Network shows and hosts are in your car, outdoors, and wherever you need them to be. Listen anywhere. Get our mobile app for iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android at the Apple iTunes App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market. Are you ready for your rush of success? I'm Kim Chi Chong, the walk star. And I'm Cami Ferry, the theater queen, the host of Rush Hour for Success on Money 1055 on Thursdays and Fridays at 2 p.m. It's about getting entertained and getting solutions for your success in life and business. Visit us on Facebook at Money 105.5 FM Rush Hour for Success or download the Money 1055 app on your phone for the live stream. That's Thursdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Get entertained, get educated, and get your rush on Rush, rush Hour, Hour for Success. success. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you got an opportunity to get to know some of our sponsors there. And I invite you during our show series to really listen to those. Take the time during the show to listen internally and really listen to what we're sharing with you and what's being um, prompted within your spirit, within your heart as we go through this time together. And then also get to know some of these sponsors because during those commercial breaks, we're actually sharing about businesses and organizations that 
believe so much in empowering women and transforming lives that they're putting their time, energy, and resources. They're kind of leaning into you to support you. So I want you to get to know who those people and organizations are. And then secondly, we have announcements that are shared about our additional programs that are available, like our television channel, EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com, which is another resource to support you on your journey in life with positive and transformational programming. So I invite you to lean in and listen and get to know all of those tools and resources that are out there to serve and support you. Now, I mentioned just before our last commercial break that um, we're going to touch on crowdfunding because we've talked a bit about um, getting in front of investors. And Teresa is someone that you can really tap into because she is part of those groups and organizations. And so we're going to let you know a little bit later on in this segment how to connect with her and um, perhaps talk with her about positioning and doing some of those things to get in front of those investors. But we also wanted to touch on this phenomenon (laughs) it's a newer thing called crowdfunding where you're in a sense going out to the public it can be things like kickstarter there are a bunch of them out there that you can um put your business proposal in the sense before the public and ask people to join you and your cause and what you're trying to create and they can contribute funds. It's called crowdfunding. Uh, Do you mind touching on this subject a little bit, Teresa, this crowdfunding phenomenon we're seeing out there and how it's something people could tap into to raise funds that they're looking to raise? My goodness, that's a whole, that's a subject for uh, perhaps a a three-day workshop. However, (laughs) So this is just the light touch. 25 <laughs> words or less. There Perfect. are probably, at last count, about 1,600 different platforms on which people can crowdfund. Crowdfunding is a hybrid um, sourcing group of platforms that was established by in the United States by the Jobs Act. And there are continuing regulations being formulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission, etc. So this is serious stuff. It is not, oh, I'm going to, you know, go out there and, and say, find a bunch of people to um, invest in my business, and then I'll go off with money and not, you know, not contact them ever again. And so thank you very much. Goodbye. Uh, there are, as I said, crowdfunding is a hybrid you can generate funds right now um, through an incentive, that is, by pre-selling your products. Um, you can, there are debt platforms, so you can secure funding through leverage, that is, you know, um, borrowing the money online. Um, there are equity opportunities, however, only to very affluent and sophisticated investors at this point. However, up the road a piece, the, um, we are being promised that those, the, the ability to share ownership in your company will be open to the general public on very, very limited basis. That is, perhaps a person could only invest um, a minimum amount, $1,000, $5,000, something of that nature. Uh, in future, not currently available, uh, stay tuned for developments. So it is a very fluid, exciting way to open your message to many, many people and um, also to get awareness and some feedback as to what the, the viability of your ideas might be online to a very, very large group of people. I, yeah, I think there's some really interesting things about this crowdfunding thing. I think there's a, a marketing and publicity it kind of thing because you have mm-hmm. you have to share it with the world. <laughs> hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm creating. And, and you get to see the response and you get to see people that are leaning in, the language that they're using, what they like, if there's alignment with what you're creating. Um, and again, depending on the approach that you're using, you know, Kickstarter, or I, I forget some of the other names, that's the one that keeps coming to my mind today, that um, 
there's a running tally that shows here's how close I am to my goal and here's what you get in exchange if you contribute something. Um, so it's a really and, – and it gets your message out there and I think it's an interesting way to – test the water and see if there's a response. And again, this crowdfunding could be, like you were saying, a three-day workshop (laughs) that we could talk about it. Um, We just wanted to make sure as we're talking about investing, as we're talking about dollars that are out there, that you have some of these things on your radar to start thinking about. But what it always goes back to is where are you right now? Where are you wanting to go? What are you wanting to build? And if we look at this exchange, if someone invests in you, whether they're investing in your product, whether they're purchasing your product, or they're investing in what you're building and creating, what are they getting in return? And you want to have really great clarity around that. And this on a personal level, so tying it back to the individual, are you paying attention to that when you're spending your dollars? Are you really paying attention to, um, am I spending with awareness or is it just kind of what I do? Um, You really want to be purposeful in your spending that as you're spending those dollars that it's on things that that matter to you because it really does make a global difference how you spend those dollars every single day. And we are getting really, really close to the close of our show. We have some free gifts that I want to make sure you're aware of. Um, Teresa has prepared a free gift. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Well, since we've been talking about money for your mission, Um, I've prepared an executive summary uh, that will basically talk about um, four different classifications of finding money for your business, money for your mission. Um, It is somewhat uh, geared to for-profit businesses, however, can be um, modified for -for not-for-profits. We're going to be talking about Strategic leverage, that is finding loans for your business. Secondarily, sharing ownership, equity. There's a wonderful classification I like to call money for nothing, which is (laughs) um, contests, sponsorships, grants, lots of money there. And then the hybrid of all of them we just touched on, um, which is crowdfunding. So, A quick overview for people who have continuing interest in finding other people to participate and partner with them in their enterprise. I I love this tool because... I believe this life is not a solo journey, that we do need one another. And when we come together and unite, um, we can make a global difference. And so I love this. And we can do that in a financial way as well. So thank you, Teresa, for making this gift available. Um, I also had a gift that I wanted to share with all of you today. And it's called The Seven Myths and Powerful Truths About Money. Because I really want to empower you, bust those myths, and, and let you know the truth. And once you know that you can really make powerful decisions in your life to move forward the things that matter most to you. Here's how you access those gifts. You go to radiogifts.net. Again, that's radiogifts.net. It's a net of gifts to support you on your journey and go to today's show date, which is Tuesday, the 22nd, and you will see both of our gifts there. Um, Just enter your name and email address so we can stay in touch. And I want to thank all of you for leaning in, being interested in learning about money and being willing to bring what you are called to bring to the world. It's so, so needed. So wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always, always boom, we are planted and shine. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.